by you guys. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up. It helps to help my channel grow and us to produce even better content. Okay, so today <coughs> was day two of my adventures at Guiding Eyes. At my feet right now is my guide dog sleeping or chilling on my shoe <laughs> with their nose. I can't say the gender, the name, or anything because um, the puppy raisers, you know, they have to be informed first that they have a match before we can put anything on social media. <clears throat> my day was pretty good. Woke up, had a nice breakfast. Then we um, met all together and we got the names of our dogs and the, gen and the gender. And we went to our rooms and they came in our rooms with the puppies and I got to spend lots of time with my dog and we did lots of training. We went out into the community today in Yorktown Heights. We went out into the town. We did some training. We walked across some streets um, with the trainer with us, of course, because the first couple of days the trainer kind of has to be like right there with us you know until we get comfortable and everything and that went pretty well it felt really comfortable my dog is super smart super smart and like i mean literally super smart like he is or she is twitter now tweeted zoom 1.0 time button adjustable double tap to toggle zoom values Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. Let me zoom in that a little bit. So, yeah, it was a good day. We had a lecture where we talked about, you know, feeding the dogs and different things like that. It went pretty well. I'm feeling good. Getting a little homesick, of course. That's natural, normal. But I'm going to hang in there. I invested too much in this. Um... Just because I'm on a little home, so that doesn't mean I'm going to pack up and go home. It just means I'm at home. I'm a homebody, but it's going well. I just, <laughs> I just want to be focused, and I just want the time to go by fast, of course, so I can go home. But, like, at the same time, like, I'm really focused. Like, I'm in the zone. To so much to the point, like, I don't even take my phone with me. When we go eat dinner, I don't take my phone. When we go have our lectures, I don't take my phone at all. Now that I have the dog, I don't take my phone anyway because I want to be focused 100% on the dog and my whole, whole learning experience here. I want to make sure that I take as much knowledge as I possibly can so that when I get home, I'm not stuck. <clears throat> you know, when I was a kid, I took mobility for granted. And as I got older and lost vision, I realized how important mobility is, you know. And so this is a different type of mobility aid. And it's something that you have to adjust to and you really gotta be informed so that you can be successful. And that's what I'm trying to do. But the rest of the night, we're just gonna chill and not doing much. Just spending more time with the dog and on a bond and all that good stuff. Okay, so I will reveal to you that my dog is a male. I can say that my dog is a male. I wanted a girl, but I got a male. <laughs> And um, that's all I can say. I'll reveal the name and everything later. But I do have a male. He's a big boy. He's gorgeous. And I can't wait to introduce him to the world and tell you guys more about him. But <clears throat> until tomorrow, peace out. Stop recording.